Well, good morning from New York City. This is Will, and it is nighttime in Beijing, and I am so excited to be speaking with Matthew today. Matthew, how are you doing? Hi, thank you. And how are you? I'm doing well, but I'm doing better because I'm speaking with you, and I can't wait to dive in to all of the amazing things that you've accomplished and that you do as both a film producer as well as an art curator and a culture consultant with art. But yes. I want to begin at the beginning, Matthew. Matthew, where did you grow up and when did you realize that you wanted to be a part of the arts? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, you know, uh, where I originally from is the ancient capital of China called the Xi'an, you know, the ancient capital of China. That's where I, come, I came from. Where I, when I was in middle school, I met some of my friends. They are all art, uh, they are art deep uh, in dark, in a great cir uh, a circle. So I was absorbed by this art students and by this kind of art background saying. So I decided to indulge myself into, uh, to be more clearly, I was, I, I was more excited to be accepted by this group of friends, art friends. I love that, Matthew, because you know, it, for many artists, right, it begins at a very young age. And I love that you were uh, yes. very that you were very interested in arts, and also the fact that you were looking at the people that you were surrounding yourself with. And mm -hmm. I want to know, Matthew, when you um, when you first began involving yourself in the film world, it, did that come um, did that come out of the blue? Was that something that you were seeking out? How did that all come about for you? Uh, it was a how to say it was it was quite a, an influence influential event by some of my best friend. Uh, his name is maybe the would be famous director who's a, I was quite influential by his behavior and by his art artistic view. His intention was to create a movie called The Orchid. You can see the movie's name on my bill. See, he said that to me and tells us, Matthew, can we organize and plan to shoot a movie in, in the year of 2006? So we organized a, a French group, uh, we call it an independent shooting team just back there. Uh, that was my first shooting experience, and that was an extraordinary and uh, successful film because later it got the international reward from the Montreal and uh, Heidelberg from Germany. Yes. Wow, that's amazing, Matthew. And you know, in addition to your film you. career, which we'll get back to, I want you to talk about a little bit about your time at Artnet and your love of art curating and also being an art consultant. Uh, art, uh, speaking back to the art industry, uh, that was a year when I was, that was a year in 2006, when I came to Beijing, you know, originally I was staying in my hometown uh, after returning from the Germany. Uh, so uh, after moving to Beijing, I started my art career and joined the, this largest art website, consulting and sales website to do the consulting, the sales and the artistic uh, conceptual ideas exchanging with various artists around, across, the, uh, across China, including Hong Kong and Taiwan. And uh, we, we, as a Chinese team, we have two people. One, one of my colleagues is from Peking University. He's older than me, then the, the younger is me. 
the Chinese team uh, made many commercial contacts with uh, such as with the art Beijing Art Fair, the famous art fair in China. You could be looked up in in in, in Google. Uh, made several contacts and successful contacts and uh, uh, lots of propaganda and lots of publication and promote Artnet to all the art world, including artists, uh, first uh, level auction house and the galleries. And uh, this kind of thing uh, makes a combination of the make, what I mean is makes uh, the art, 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 uh, art thing into the real world, make it uh, quite practical. I love yes. that, Matthew. And you know, when I think about, you know, you coming on board as an advisor for Phoenix, Thank this you. is going to be a social media platform that not only is going to get artists work out there, but also yes. allow people to purchase their artwork. And I think in addition to the Phoenix platform being able to provide that safe haven for artists, it also makes me think about the film producers that it's going to provide a safe haven for. A haven where film producers like yourself are going to now mm -hmm. be able to seek out collaborations, not only in the East, but here in the West. And so my question for you is, mm -hmm. when I look at your loves of film and art, I want to know, do you find yourself looking back at all of your studies and saying, oh my gosh, of course I love these both, both these fields and how they can possibly at times intersect with one another? Uh, yes, I like the intersects because I love art. I love the film. I love movie. I like the perfect combination with art and movie shooting because I think a movie is the most uh, uh, most important art uh, performance, the, the highest level art performance for art, art, for art, art levels. But art, uh, sometimes you can see, you, we should understand the, the philosophy and the, the, the artistic history and the humanity ideology things. So it's, it's quite interesting for a producer or art curator like me to make a, such a combination to connect art and the film circle into one. What I mean, two in one, that's the key thing. That's my key point. That would be my key point uh, to make a progress in the coming future, not I only in East, but, but also abroad. Yes, absolutely. And what I also love, Matthew, about your work is I'm sure you've already realized this, but that, mm -hmm. you know, film is a beautiful piece of art. And that great film, like the films that you've been a part of, also have a transcendent universal message that, say, perhaps here in the West, I may not understand the language it's in, but great art is understandable to all. Matthew, my final question for you is in looking forward, um, are there any projects that you're working on that you're excited to share with me today? Uh, that's a funny question and a very interesting question. Uh, I have quite a few of the project to show, to show you. I'm uh, actually, I'm so anx anxious to show you show you my one of my latest uh, project. It's called a uh, action film with the young uh, director and the script, script uh, call, uh, it's, so it's a young boy. He collaborates with me. He worked work together with me and we, uh, uh, we are, how should I say, incubating like a hatching a project starting from the scripts, writing scripts and uh, 
You're in the Looking incubation the stage. You're in the, you're just uh, yes, in the beginning yes, stages. Incubation machine. That's the thing. That's the thing. Thank you for, for the hint. But yes. see, I incubation. understand what you're talking about. We're all good. So you're in the incubation stage of a very, of a great project with a young writer mm -hmm. and a director. Yes. And it's going to be an action film. Action film. And it will be a hot spot action film, maybe in Chinese domestic box office. I hope it would get a, a boom saying, a boom sound in the box office. Well, you That's are so book. talented, Matthew, and um, I am not, I will not be surprised when this next film becomes a big hit. And I am so grateful to be speaking with you. And I hope that as a director and you as a producer, that we get to collaborate one day on something. That's the thing. That's the thing. I the same for me. I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping to work with you because the well I I saw some of your videos the other day. I like the the sentence you just said. Uh, kiss the nights. Kiss the nights. After kissing the nice, you will show yourself to all the broader stage and to the a great amount of audience. And can you can sh totally show yourself, so your talented performance and uh, your outstanding um, musical things to the audience. You know what I mean. I like the sentence "kiss the night." Is that that's the uh, my best wish to you. The same here, I can feel for you. Well, thank you, Matthew, for your time today. And I cannot wait to speak with you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Will. Thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the coming future, maybe in New York or in Beijing. Thank you. In the digital age, artists and bands struggle to make a living. In fact, only a small number of artists can live off their craft. For the 98% of artists that don't have the luxury of being signed to a label, it's tough. But artists deserve to live off their art. Wherever you are around the world, appreciation of music does not change. Phoenix brings bands and their fans together, whilst allowing bands to properly monetize their passion. The Phoenix app will directly connect bands and fans with no need for middlemen. We're utilizing the blockchain to give the power back to the artist once and for all. Join Phoenix, join the change.